In my last video, I showed you the smart light switch project I made using this WaveShare ESP32C6 development board. Back then, it was just a simple switch, it wasn't that smart, but I improved it and now it is much smarter and better. I even added a remote control function using ESP now. This is a part 2 and in this video I'll show you all the improvements I made and uh, the improvements I'm planning to do. And of course I will share the updated code for this new version. If you missed part 1 you can find the link in the description. Like I showed in the previous video I use this WaveShare board and for mounting I use PCBs produced by PCBWay. Right now PCBWay has great discounts for different colors, materials and more. The links are in the description and you can order these PCBs directly from PCBWay site. Also don't forget to watch part 1 if you haven't already because in that video you can see how to install everything. The last version was very simple, just on and off. Page for setting the time and another page for setting the brightness. And that's it. After a few days of using it I realized it was buggy, sometimes the time resets to zero or to a random value and sometimes there was ghost touches, the device acted as if somebody touched the screen even though to nobody was in room. So the light turned on and off the whole night, my neighbors probably think I'm crazy. But the biggest bug was uh, that after a few days of running the whole program crashed. The reasons for the real-time clock reset, the ghost touches and uh, the crashes were I2C conflicts. Because the touch controller use I2C, the real-time clocks use I2C and the pin expander also use I2C. When two devices try to use I2C line at the same time, weird things happen. So I added the mutex to prevent uh, simultaneous communication and now everything works great. Also, in the first version, sometimes when the user tried uh, to turn the switch on, they would accidentally swipe the screen which opened the, the settings page instead of turning, turning the light. So, in the new version, I remove, remove swiping completely and change how you switch between pages. To enter the menu, the user now needs to long press the screen and the menu will appear. Here we can set the time, brightness and now there is a new page. Let's say there is power outage in the house, the device will still work because of this small battery and in that case you can open this, this emergency page, the brightness is set to the maximum and the screen is mostly white so it gives you enough light to walk around the room and find a flashlight, a candle or whatever you need. In my town during winter we sometimes have a short power losses, so this is actually useful. I also added seconds and this arch module that also shows seconds. And I added a feature that shows the time passed since the last switching. That way I can yell at my family if they leave the light on by accident. Just kidding, I originally added this part for the bug. Uh, ghost inputs but I liked it so I decided to keep it. And the biggest improvement is remote control. I'll talk about that in a minute but first I'd like to invite you to subscribe to this channel because this project will have uh, more parts and I will keep improving it. And if you are already a subscriber please leave a comment it helps it helps me decide what to do what to add next and it also helps the video reach a wider audience. And now I will demonstrate uh, ESP now remote controlling. So basically for a demonstration purpose I connected just simple LED to see changes on switch. But usually on pin 2 you need to connect real uh, relay module. I'm using this M5 stack relay module because it is quite safe to use. But I already explained it all in my first video. So uh, main way to to turn light on and off is of course by touching this screen. By a, but I also use this great wave share board 1.8 AMOLED board 
which also act as a remote switch and by sending ESP now commands. ESP now is a wireless protocol which which enables to which allows to ESP32 to communicate and it use it is using Wi-Fi technology so range is practically home Wi-Fi network range is same range as home Wi-Fi network and so idea is to put this on different place where you don't have wires in wall so you can turn on or off any device remotely and the next device is this also wave share smart watch programmable smart watch which also is is doing same thing it is sending ESP now comments. I decided to use these two because they have built-in battery and also real-time clock which is not adjusted in this case. So uh, that is practically it. You also probably notice this here this is MAC address of this board and purpose of this is right now this switch will uh, change on every ESP now message but uh, I'm planning to to use system that allows for example for example this switch will be used for one master, this for another, and this for a third. And for that, we will need we will need a MAC address of each device. That's it, guys. I hope you like this video. Please leave a comment. Tell me what you think. This was very interesting and fun project for me and I I will continue to develop and I almost forgot I'm also planning to add timers so this feature is not working but with this feature I will be able to uh, set automatically timer based behavior so for example uh, light will be turned on in an uh, 8 p.m. and turn off and 10 p.m. For example, in that case, I can use this for automatically turn on and off my Christmas lights or something like that. That's it. Have fun. Tell me what you think. Goodbye.